Just when you think you've seen enough of the devastation in Cross River State following the NSARS protest, then come these sites. This is what is left of the state government's printing press, where printing machines worth millions of naira were vandalized and set ablaze. In another section of the building, archival materials, gazettes and other historical documents are in ruins. The State's Commissioner for Information and Orientation, Mr. Asu Okan, in company of management staff from the ministry, is in shock over the level of damage. It is very unfortunate. It is saddening. It is sickening. What has been lost here may never be recovered. Never. Never be recovered. I am most saddened by the fact that the entire archival materials the institutional memory of Chronicle of the state is completely gone. Anybody with the useful information, please get to us. We'll fish them out. Also destroyed is the Nigerian Chronicles, which is said to be the oldest surviving newspaper organization in Cross River State and the Nigerian Television Authority, Calabar. So sad. People who call themselves protesters, whereas I call them vandals, criminals, came and that is a picture what have today is an it's now history because you can't put it you can't put it back to, to get these machines today is running into billions of naira so we can't get it again so it that brought it back in a related development the cross river state government has condemned similar attacks on the office of the world health organization in calabar the state's essential drug store covid 19 reference laboratory infectious disease hospital and other health facilities in the state. There is no single bed. In the IDH, there is no bed. In some of the uh, primary health care facilities that was raided, there is no bed, no equipment and all of that. While the state government continues to carry out investigations on how the looting began, it's calling on those involved in the looting of both public and private properties to return the items in their possession or face the law when caught.